Right, here we go. And you can watch it. Like, right. you can watch it button on the top of the thing. Oh yeah, with the tower air flyer, you set it on the snake setting, 200 degrees for 30 minutes. It doesn't mean to say you have to use the full 30 minutes. It just means you have to uh, think. What I'll do today is try and set the computer up. What I do from today is start cooking videos and it won't be anything fancy, it'll just be your normal everyday cooking that anybody can afford and can do from home. You know? I'll put the link in the bottom of the description to like, subscribe, share and comment. Uh, if, if, if it's a total train wreck, if it's a total train wreck, I'm still going to upload it because I, I, I just want it to be as normal as possible. I don't want it to be spent three hours editing the video that nobody will look at uh, you know in the rest of it my my channel is monetized and i'm not interested in monetizing it if i do get any money from the channel eventually it'll go to the food bank it will 
you know, give people food around the world. Because I, I want to teach you to make and prepare food the cheapest way possible within your budget. You know, my, my food bill for this month is 30 quid, 40 quid maybe. Yeah, it's ridiculous. My electric, £10. A week. It's ridiculous. It's all about control. Right, how are we doing? Right, I'll be back. Enjoy. Hey guys! Oh, look at that! Can you see? 
Yay! Yay, yay, yay! Fifteen minutes left. Really? That long? Wow. Okay. Do the light again. Oh wow! I'm not sure you can see that. Let me see what you see. Uh, I can't see what you see. No, you don't see anything. You're going to be impressed, guys. Put my chopping board down. You're going to be impressed. See you in 10 minutes. Right. Do not be tempted to open the oven door. You want the oven as hot as possible. You know, you don't need to preheat the tower oven. You don't need to keep opening the door and checking it. Because you do that, all the heat will go and that's it. And you, you, you want to, you want it slightly burn, uh, not 
black but slightly burnt so that when you take it out of the oven it doesn't collapse that's why I say give it 20 to 30 minutes now I did a couple last night for my dinner and they took 30 minutes um, but they sank so Just say 20 to 30 minutes. Uh, we'll give it five minutes. Yes. It's looking pretty awesome to me. Uh, what I might do is actually just turn it off and let it cook for the last 10 minutes in its own heat because I'm not kidding that is awesome that is uh, a 5 inch Yorkshire pudding it's huge and this is just going to be one person and you got to remember when you take that out the dish you're going to turn it upside down and you want a hole in the bottom because what you're then going to do is you're going to fill it with your filling like I put roast beef pepper, onion, parsnip new potatoes in gravy in it so the, it's actually like a Yorkshire pie <laughs> not a filled Yorkshire pudding where you get Yorkshire pudding and you put the ingredients in it this is actually inside the Yorkshire pudding it is amazing I'll uh, show you later what I've done Right, what we got left? Because I think that's pretty much done. I think that's pretty much done. Where's me oven glove? Right, that's 21 minutes. And that is my Yorkshire pudding. Yeah. Now, I've got asbestos hands. Whoa. See? See that? Whoa. Look how good that is. Yeah, softer than that's. That's sinking in the middle now, but that's okay, because we ain't worried about that, because we're going to, we're going to open that up, we're going to unfold it, we're going to fill it, we're going to put the lid back, we're going to flip it back over on the plate, and there you go, there is a Yorkshire pudding done in a to-go container. No more spending two or three pounds on the Yorkshire pudding tin. Right, I'm going to love and leave you and see what's going on. I don't think.